Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free global preset style guide for Divi's meal kit layout pack. Here are the results we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So a good idea is to scroll through this and take a look and see what sort of presets you have. Like, for example, here we have the color palette. So this gives you an idea of what colors are used in this preset style guide. We also have some visuals here, and this also uh, is good to uh, design using these presets as well. So as we scroll down, we're going to get to see all the headers, the heading two, heading threes, the buttons, the button types. So this will give you an idea of, again, what you can use as you're designing your meal kit website. All right, so the next section, which is very important here is where to download the assets, which is right here. So what you need to do is to add your email address. So I'm just gonna enter mine, and then I'm gonna click on download. Okay, so now we need to click here on download the files. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now you can see it's been downloaded here on the bottom of my screen. The next step is to unzip that file. So I'm going to go into the finder and find this zipped file. Okay, so I'm gonna show in finder and I have it right here. Next, we need to double click this so that we unzip this file. And now you can see we have a single file. This is the file that we're going to need to install into our Divi library. So I'm just gonna pull this over to the side for a little bit and then I am going to now show you how to do this. So over here, I have my website, I have Divi pre-installed. So I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard and then come all the way down to Divi and then click on Divi library. Next, we want to click on import and then click here on import. Make sure you click here where it says import presets. This is very important. Okay, so now, remember that file that we unzipped? I'm just gonna drag and drop it right here, like that. Or you can just do it manually by clicking here where it says choose file. So now I'm gonna click import DV builder layout. So this is going to import this file that we've just downloaded. And this is the file that has all our presets. Okay, so our presets has been uh, installed and you can see it right here. The next step now is to use this preset in our designs. And I'm gonna show you how to find all these presets. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add new. So let's give this page a name. Let's just call this meal kit. And then I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. So here, if it's the first time using Divi, you can just click on take a tour. Uh, but in our case here, I'm just gonna click on start building. And uh, for this first example, I'm just gonna click on build from scratch. So I can just show you where these presets are. So let's start here with the button. So if I search for my button here, initially we get our default button here. So ideally we want to make this design process much, much easier and consistent. So what we'll do is we'll come over here now to our presets and now you can see these are all the preset buttons. So if I click on this one here, you can see it's already designed for me, which is fantastic. And we have different designs here. So let's go again and do another button. So I'm gonna search for my button module here. And if I come over here on the drop down, I can go for preset number two. And you can see now all these buttons here are really consistent. So let's try number three and that's number three. And this is preset number four. So as you can see, these are pre-designed for us and this is really, really cool. So this is what makes the design process much, much easier for us. So ideally, the best way to use this is to use this with the actual pre-made layout. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I were to come over here now and uh, click on this plus button, it now takes us to our pre-made layouts. So this is where you want to um, choose the pre-made layout that corresponds with your preset style guide. So this one here is the mill kit, which is uh, the preset we've just downloaded. So now let's go ahead and see how this works. So I'm going to load up this layout on this page. Now the advantages of doing it this way is you don't have to design all the headers, the, the fonts, or even the button, the, bl the blurbs and so on. All this is designed for us and this is fantastic. Okay, so our layout here has been imported, which is great. So what I can do now is let's say I need to start adding uh, information here on my side. So uh, perhaps maybe I want a different button here. I can just delete that and then add a new button. So let's uh, search for our button module here. 
I'm gonna select that. And you can see here we have the default one, but we want the one that is styled. So we can go through these again. So let's go with this one right here. And you can see it's consistent with our design. So I can now go in here, add my button link like that and save. If there's any areas that I don't want to use, I can just go ahead and delete them. But for the most part, all this here is designed for us. So let me show you how you can also add a header in here. So let's say I go in this module here and um, I need to add, let's say, a heading. In fact, you know what? Let's use a text module here. I think that would be much, much easier. So if I were to add a text module like that and select it, all I have to do is to define what I need as a header. So if I if I do that and highlight this and set this to, let's say, heading 2, right? At first glance, you can see that everything is pretty much, you know, uh, normal. But if I go in specifically now to heading 2 here, I can go on this drop down and choose my presets. So this is heading 2. And just like that, this is updated. And if I need to update my paragraph text so that this text is uh, pretty much, you know, uh, consistent with the rest of my site. I can just go to body, boom, just like that, this has been updated. So as you can see, this is going to uh, help us design our website super fast, saving us time to design all these presets. All right, so go ahead, try it out and uh, make sure you refer to uh, this blog post so that you can see what the designs look like before you start applying them into your designs. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.